Hey you guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Trey and I want to talk about WB. And the reason why I want to talk about WB is because where the hell is a damn amusement park for WB? And I and I'm not I'm, I'm talking about like there's a Disney World, Legoland, Hershey's World. But WB ain't got no land, well Six Flags, but come on now, that ain't much of shit. Like think about it. WB got all of these properties under their belts. All these mel cartoon melodies. Like there should be a damn Looney Tune world for fuck's sakes. Where the hell is one at? And I just, I mean, like, okay, Six Flags, sure. But like, where is, where is a amusement park that focus on WB stuff? You know what I'm saying? Like I, I, I remember, um, it, and the reason why I'm bringing this up is because he reminded me when I went down to Universal Studios and how Universal Studios have some of the classic, have some of those classic um, cartoons, you know, like Popeyes, Betty Boo, those kind of characters. And I'm just like, you know, WB got all of these Looney Tunes and Merry Melody cartoon characters that just sits there on the fucking shelf. And I'm just like, y'all can create an entire world around that. Instead of like, do what Disney's doing. You know what I'm saying? Like, why when Disney, when y'all saw that Disney was successful or when you saw Universal was successful, WB, that's what you should be doing. That's that should be something. If I was Discovery, I'd be thinking about doing a darn um, you know, WB land or something, Looney Tune land or something. That way they can see these characters. That way people can see a Batman, Superman, Wonder Woman, you know, standing out there. You know, that way they could it'd be promoting their new movies or shows or whatever. And, you know, you could also show these old classic Looney Tune cartoon characters. There, there are cartoon characters that we see in Disney World and Universal Studios that don't even, that haven't been on TV in years. In years. And I'm wondering, like, damn, where the hell is everything at? You know? And I, and I really do think that we need to have one. Because wouldn't that be cool? Wouldn't that be cool? Because, like, WB, for instance, WB owns Harry Potter land. Um, I mean, own Harry Potter. Why wasn't there, a, like, a, a WB Discovery land for, you know, the Harry Potter thing instead of putting it in Universal? You know what I'm saying? Which, you know, I'm not going to complain about it. But imagine an actual land that, like, has the in-depth world of the Harry Potter. You know what I'm saying? So instead of like WB always like focusing on the movies or shows or whatever, you can also have something that would you know expand on the world of Harry Potter but it's under the ownership of WB. You'll get more people, get get another get another source of revenue, to be honest. And it'll give people time to see a lot of these other classic characters. And I would love to see some of the, these old classic cartoons. Like, wouldn't you guys want to see, like, the Looney Tunes back again? And some of those old classic 1930 characters and the these and some of the DC characters, you know? And you can have you can have you can have like a DC world too, a Harry Potter world or um, Lord of the Rings. Like you can make a whole token land, for God's sakes. I think because I, I mean I know Amazon brought the rights to it, but I think WB still has distribution rights or whatever to it. So I don't know. I'm just saying like WB, you got you got some properties. Well, well why not use them? Why not use them? Because I'm just. I'm just was I'm just wondering why not use the property that you got. Like let's go. Let's go. Let's go, WB. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's just oh man, it's just so weird. You know what I mean? Like I don't know. I know this, this was like such a random thing. Um But could you imagine though? Like I would love to see like um I would love to see. Oh, oh, and then you know, um, anybody remember remember when Warner Brothers had that that frog, the Warner Brother frog? Oh man, that could be something really cool too. 
And then you can like you can also bring like the Animaniacs and the Tiny Toons as well. We haven't seen them. Oh, and could you imagine if somebody saw like Freakazoid? Like the, the it's 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 there. It's there. It is right there. And you can like you can recreate like the Justice League satellite for people to like visit and rummage, and you can make like some kind of Justice League little ride using like the satellite as like an entry point or whatever. Like the it's it's all right here. It is it is it is there. It is there, and I'm just like, damn. And then of course they got like that Cartoon Network stuff as well. Like, oh, and then that Hanna Barbarian. Like you can you can um bring in like more Scooby Doo stuff. You can do like Flintstones. Oh, could you imagine if they recreated the town of Bedrock in like some kind of little land or whatever, so people can like pretend like they're in Bedrock or or the Jetsons, like a futuristic city. Meet George Jetson. Like. These characters can still live on, but you know, put them in an amusement park. That would be nice. And then, of course, you can like add some baseball stuff in there because you got Turner, you got Turner, um, you got Turner, Turner, um, stuff too. And then you got New Line Cinema. I think what could be New Line Cinema? Ooh, ooh, New Line. You can um, Austin Power, of course. So that'll be really something. And then you can do like a scary part of the theme park, like the conjuring universe like everybody loves the conjuring why not do some kind of theme park around that kind of stuff i know it's kind of i know it's just kind of crazy or whatever but i think it really could be really could be something really cool uh oh and mortal kombat yes could you imagine if the if mortal kombat was walking around in the music park and then apparently uh and then you got the tmnt turtles too you know teenage Mutant Ninja turtles so that could be something also that could be really cool too. I know Nickelodeon, I think Nickelodeon has distribution rights, but I think you know they can they can do something. I think Warner Brothers can do a little bit of something. So I, I'm just saying it would be it would be nice to see some of these characters again. You know? Why like why not? <laughs> uh let's see. I think that's a I re, I really think that was about really what I wanted to kind of get across <laughs> like dang you guys got this entire you got all of the, these media properties and you barely ain't doing nothing with them you know the only time I see those characters some of these characters is when I go to the CNN um store well I mean the CNN center well used to I don't know how it is now because after all that nonsense that's been happening yeah I doubt CNN is what it used to be but you know all over the CNN you'll see a little bit of the old, um, see some of the classic cartoons and stuff from Adult Swim, Cartoon Network, TNT, or whatever, and stuff like that. Like that, you know, it was really interesting, you know, when I think, when I, when you think about it, you know, and I think that could be something really cool because then that way they'll have another source besides the movies and, and a little bit of the video games or whatever. You know, if you got the property, why not use it? Use it to its fullest, I say. It's just a thought. It is just a thought. Because, I mean, Universal didn't get it. Disney done did it. Warner Brothers, where you at? Because Six Flags ain't Six Flags ain't cutting it no more. <laughs> I'm just, just going to be honest with you. Six Flags is not cutting it anymore. Like, goddamn. <laughs> I know. Six Flags is not cutting it anymore. Especially because Six Flags is just like an average joke. Um, park to be honest and I think maybe maybe you might need to convert Six Flags into something but you know you need to put it into like like you know how there's a Disneyland a Universal Land and um, Universal Studios Orlando and Disney Disney World you need to do um, a Warner Brothers World in you know in Florida and then do one in California if you want to, or hell, you know, I think it's a suggestion. I think maybe, maybe you can, you can do that. You can put an amusement park maybe, um, in, in Georgia. You got six flights over Georgia, you know, expand a little bit more, get a little bit more land and turn that into WB world. To be honest, that's just my opinion on it. I just thought it was just something we could just like, kind of like talk about, discuss. I know people were like, eh, I don't know about that, but 
I really think that that could be a good business venture. I mean, I know if I was, if I had, if I was an executive and they was asking me ideas and I just would have been like, how come we don't have like a WB land? I'm just saying, I'm just saying, <laughs> you know what? I mean, did, did they try before? Yes, we got six flags, but that ain't much of shit. I want something that when people, when people see it, that people around the world will want to come and see it. And because there's six flags all over the places. So you ain't really missing out on much of nothing, really. But to have a, a amusement park that has so much of the history and legacy of WB there in one area that Six Flags don't have the luxury of would be nice. And I think that could work. I mean, I'm just I'm just being honest. <laughs> like Fantasia said, <laughs> I'm just being honest. I guess I, I guess I knew. <laughs> I just love I love that part right there for that song. But um I I don't know. I just thought it was something we could just kind of have a little discussion video about. But yeah, tell me what you guys think. Do you guys think that that's a good idea? Do you think that would have been smart? Or are you guys fine with Six Flags over Georgia, even though, I mean, not Six Flags over Georgia, but Six Flags, even though nobody really talks about Six Flags anymore or goes to a Six Flags anymore? I'm just being, <laughs> I'm just saying, I'm just saying, I used to go to, I've been to Six Flags so many times, it's not even funny. And it's, it's, it's really cool. The rides are there are, are pretty cool, but man, I would love to have a land from WB that has a lot of characters in there that we don't get a chance to see that often. I mean, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. You know what I mean? <laughs> but that's just my opinion. Tell me what you guys think. Comment below, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.